Long before Chicago's River North became a safe playground for tourists, it was a more unsavory playground of gambling baron Jacob Montas. Born in 1873 and a native Chicagoan, he got his start before his 20th birthday as a pool shark operating a billiard parlor on the city's north side. He found great success operating a handbook out of there, so much so that he began buying up other handbooks and then opening saloons. By 1904, he had an empire going. Its nurse center were these very blocks at North Clark Street. Headquarters was right here on the site of a rock and roll McDonald's. The building had a large open area where betters would congregate to view the odds and wager. There was also a bar, restaurant, cigar store, and in the basement of Bowling Alley. It was the greatest achievement, though, was General News Bureau, the first nationwide wire service. It was a huge success, despite the government's best efforts to stop it. It only sold out in 1924 due to a real reform mayor, William Deaver, being elected, and the fact that Al Capone wanted his business. So he retired peacefully to Florida. He spent most of his glory years living in this mansion, a quiet block of West Belden. It was also the scene of a pair of violent attacks that could have taken Mont's life. In 1907, as he was beginning to dominate the racing information business, tennis became engaged in what was called the Gambler's War with Southside betting kingpin Jim O'Leary. Starting in 07, there were more than 30 bombings among the various players over the course of three years, two of which targeted this house. One occurred out in front blowing out the windows, and the other took place in the garage, leaving a large crater.